Right, we've got a super early start to this morning. We'll come out early, it is a bit cloudy, that's what's making it dark as well, but it's flat calm at the moment. It's supposed to be a lot of rain later, but uh, we're gonna head out and uh, we wanna get around and check our pots that we put down south two days ago. See if they've caught. If we've got four pots down there, then we'll probably come back, fish a little bit, do a couple more pots further out, and uh, that'll be that. So we'll see you out there when the uh, sun's up a little bit. Well, we've arrived down the south coast. Hopefully it's light enough for you to see. It's quite dark still, but we got actually got here at record speed. We were actually flying down the coast with the tide. So. But we did need to get down here. As ASA peaks, the tide is coming up. So. But we made it in good time. We did. Let's hope for a good catch. Haven't potted down here this year at all. Last few years have been pretty diabolical down here, to be honest. Let's hope that they're not still diabolical. First pot, this is the small pots. With the small necks, so they're not going to get big crab or anything. Right, two days. Well, it's off to a bad start. <laughs> Baby spider after two days. But it can be that way with pots. Let's hope the next pot's got something. Also an empty pot. Yeah, this is what it was like the last couple of years down. It used to be really good down here, but then we had a lot of heavy, big truces came in over a few years, and since then it's just, well, since they were here, we haven't really seen much at all down here. Even in some of the best spots I know, just empty. So, well, we'll uh, move them somewhere else, I think, around here and try again. And then we'll go and do the other two. All right. Will we get anything in this one? I hope so. Pot's on its way, and it's hard to see it. It's here. Got an eel in that one. Bait must have been quite fresh to get eel. Is that it? Oh, there is a lobster. Good. Two lobsters. So there's a couple of lobsters in this one. Let's have a look at them. So this is ancient pot, we moved it around here. Wow, got some damage in the side of it. But that's the size of lobster. Look at the, the hole in the side. Wow. All right, well there's one, that'll be size. That'll probably be size as well. That'll definitely be size. It's got small claws, but it's probably replacement claws. But well, this is good, because there's, there's two in there, which means we're off to a good start. I wouldn't expect too many, especially with a great big conger in the pot, because this pot isn't that big. <laughs> Last pot round here, and this is the other old pot. Took these both out of the bay and brought them out here just for a few days while the weather's nice. Seems we haven't potted down here this year, really. Like I say, last couple of years down here, just been an absolute waste of time. So. Here it comes. And it's here. And a lobster got out. Look, look at it. Big one too. Just swam straight out the neck. Damn it. So we just lost a nice big lobster. But hopefully there'll be another one in there. And there is. <laughs> okay, I'll set up for that one. Just move. Did you see it swimming across the surface? Male by the looks of it. Female, isn't it? Mm. It's got big claws for a female. It's got long arms. You can tell by the way it's difficult to get it out. Mm. 
Here it comes. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. <laughs> it just shows there's still some nice big ones around. Yep. Oh, they certainly are. Yeah. They've it's been around long. View. They've been around a little while. They're not ancient. People think they're ancient. They go on about lobsters. Oh, that's 50, 100 years old. Not till yeah. they're double figures nearly. Turn it. That's only like and... three pounds. That would be like yeah. a normal lobster years ago. Yeah. In fact, one of the old fishermen was telling me during the war, after the war, they had, um, when they had that rest during the war, when it was occupied here, when he put his pots down, most lobsters were coming out of the pots were around five pounds. Yeah. And that was only that little space of time it took to recover. And how and this quickly is, they were wiped out. This is only out about then. three pounds, so imagine that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but when you've got pots continuing, like in an area, hundreds of pots just left, they're going to... Yeah gonna filter them out but these ones like I can say they've been around for a few years they're not like I say ancient ancient just stopped off to see if there was any fish and I've just hooked fish just done a couple of marks we got up here we fished them the other day didn't get much on them but thought I'd try again on a different tide Ooh. In as well. Oh, there's the shashas or horse mackerel. Why does it keep doing that? Every time I'm going to drop it, it's going to put me out. We're not really moving either, so we won't be drifting very far. Mackerel, bonus. The bonus mackerel. It's bonus mackerel day. Not many mackerel around now, not that we've come across anyway. That's, that's um, bottlenose, the size of them. Commons are very small with that's a baby. That one over there. That's a little one. But that other one was a big there, see? Yeah. They're off down uh, towards town. No, we have drifted that fast. Wow, we've gone out. Wasn't expecting that. But I'm going to bring up, we'll move in on the marks and pull out across them then. That's a perfect angle to drift across them. That's actually quite a good angle if I remember right to catch the pollock. It's probably the same thing when the tide's slacking a little bit. It's a horse. So we've hooked into some fish down the bottom again. I'm going to say horse mackerel, but we're actually after five horse mackerel. We want. Don't ask me why. It just sounds like a good number. Oh, mine's not horse mackerel. Mine's a pouch. Lovely fish pouch. Yep. So underrated. I'm going to steam one of them. Bit of bread and butter, salt and pepper. <laughs> Butter. Bread and butter? Where were you raised? Oh well, I'll leave you guessing. <laughs> Not where you'd think. <laughs> An accent like that. Oh, she's going to go for the big pout again. Look, she has to get a bigger one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Women. Mine, mine <laughs> Look at it. Biggity. Look biggity. at the size of it. Where's yours again? Uh, I'll put it back. <laughs> it's in that bucket, look. Uh, oh yeah, I could just about see it. Look. Yeah, but I've only got small lures and that's my excuse. Look at it. Look at the size of it. Nice. It's a beauty, yeah? Might pout. Yeah, that'd be a good eater, that one, for sure. 
That's what you want, nice big ones. Mind you, if you get the small ones, you just steam them up whole. Don't worry about filleting and stuff. I'll get another one. I'm going for the power record. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I think I might have the record. It's a uh, who can catch the biggest pout day. Well, I've lost straight away. Oh, I don't know. Let's see what's on the end of your thing. I'm going to say it's the horse mackerel. And over there is the judge. Look, he said, pass them over. I'll judge them. Yeah. Oh, let's do what's awesome my Done. Done, done, done. Three horse awesome mackerel. It's going to move again. It's not moving very far, so. See, them. there's a tower. Yep, yeah, there's a tower of fish down there. I reckon I'm going to catch them any minute because they're there. I oh, know that's a line gun. I've probably got a line of fish. I'll put something out. We've moved position now a few miles. <laughs> well, maybe a mile. A mile and a half. Try a different mark we've got. Mackerel, horse mackerel, and more mackerel. Lovely mackerel. Lovely mackerel, those are, those are full size, they are. And I've got a oh, pollock. Species, <laughs> racking up the species. Look at it, swallowed the up. And it's also blown inside, you see its swim bladder's gone. Yeah, yeah look, it's blown up that one, yeah, he's not going back up that one. It's too deep. We're at 140 feet, uh, no, we're still on it. We haven't actually come up, we're sort of right on top of it at the moment. Well, we're drifting so slow because it's flat water now. That's the beauty, but the problem is, once it starts running, we won't get the pots that we don't get to. That's why I need to sort of just speed fish. Today's speed fishing session brought to you by Troy and Rebecca. On the mighty dawn fish. So we just stopped off at the light and uh, well we just stopped here quickly and I just uh, threw the lure out and I've just caught a fish, well I might have caught a fish, let's find out. There it is, not a very big fish, but a fish, right little prize there, eh? let this one go. Little prize there. Eh? Yeah, that wouldn't be legal, so we wouldn't keep it anyway, regardless. Right, let's uh, give it another shot and keep going. Right, we're just going to check this set of pots. We're not doing many today, but we baited these yesterday. But we're going to check them. We're not going to check them for a day or so. I think there's a bit of wind coming and these are a bit far out and want to come out this far to get them. So, right, right, right out in the middle of nowhere. We're trying deep, deep earth. See if we can find ourselves some nice crab or lobster or whatever we can find in the deeps. I should find a bit of rock out here, hopefully. Although, they've only been down 24 hours. Yeah, 
like just under it. Yeah. Where do we go round the deep room? Another small one. Not two out here. Yeah. Okay, and that, eh? I think. That as it is, it's bass headed, should be gone. Unless you want to squeeze everything else in, but. There you go, one in our pot. Pot's catching it right now, isn't it? It's got the other neck in it. Right, we better get this down fairly quickly because I know we want to keep it on this reef, I think. Pocket pot time. It's actually quite a big stone just down there, I've just seen it. Some shells by the looks of it. Maybe there's something feeding down there. comes the pocket pot, the pocket pot. <laughs> Only a little frame. One little brown crab. That's it. Right, let's get this back. Let it go. Horse mackerel, we had those lobsters and we had what else we had? Pollock, uh, pollock pout. pout, my big pout. Small big pout. Yeah. So we did alright. And of course, we've got a nice one. Let me just take that there, you can see in there. We've got one, two, three, four, five lobsters. What a lobster. Yep. Nice one. Here comes a plane. Yes, another one. The wind's starting to make now. It's supposed to get windy tomorrow, so or later. So we won't be fishing tomorrow, that's for sure. Possibly the next day. I've decided yet. Yeah. We'll see you on the next one.